ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Tally ho! Tally ho! Clear the path! Servant of the King coming through! Coming through! Tally ho! Right this way, Shadow! Right up the hill! Away you go, Shadow! Ha ha! Stay, Shadow! Good boy! Hello, children! It is I, Sir Praise a Lot! Praise God! And today I was supposed to meet with young Squire Goofus the Gallant. Have you seen him? No. Neither have I. <laughs> oh, Rufus! There you are! Rufus, have you seen young Squire Gus? <laughs> you have? Well, where is he? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Oh, he's got a clue. Well, what is this? A mask party. A mask? Oh, a mask party, like a masquerade ball. He went to a masquerade ball? <laughs> no. He's in disguise. <laughs> he's in disguise. Oh, well, why is he in disguise? <laughs> he's afraid? What is he afraid of? <laughs> Okay, he's going to show me what he's afraid of. What could he, he's a knight in training. Why would he be afraid of anything? He's, af he's afraid of a Bible? But Squire Gus gave his heart to the Lord. Why would he be afraid of the word of God? I'm not afraid of the Bible. I'm afraid to ask the Bible questions. Squire Goofus. Squire Gus, have you been hiding behind Rufus the whole time? Come out here. Um. No, I don't want to. Oh, what's wrong with you? I'm afraid of what God thinks of me. Oh, don't be silly. Come out here right right now. Come out, Squire Gus. <gasps> Get yourself out here. Well, okay. I cannot believe him. He's so silly. Why would he be afraid about God? Don't we, know, we never need to fear the things of God. <laughs> God is, uh, is trustworthy and true. And everything he says is worthy of... <laughs> Squire Gus, what are you doing in that silly get-up? Oh, I, I don't want God to recognize me. Oh, is this because you're embarrassed because last week Robespierre tricked you? Don't be worried about that. Many knights have been fooled by Robespierre. <laughs> Even you? No, not me, of course not. No, but I wonder why you want to hide from God. Well... I've been asking the Bible a lot of questions lately, and I'm afraid that God might think I don't like him. Oh, Squire Gus, God knows your heart. He knows you love him. Besides, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. That's how you grow and learn. We all ask questions. I ask questions, and so do the kids. You, you do? They, they do? Yes, don't you ask questions? Of course, yes, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, Squire Gus, you're coming out here all hidden and kind of sneaky. Reminds me of Nicodemus. Wait a minute. Who is this Nickelodeon? Not Nickelodeon. Nicodemus. Oh. He's in the Bible. Here, let me get out the Word of God and I'll show you right now. <laughs> There was a Jewish leader by the name of Nicodemus who came to see Jesus at night. Wait, no. why did he only come out at night time? Well, he was a very wise religious man, but he had questions for Jesus. And perhaps he didn't want others to see that he didn't already know all the answers. Oh, I know exactly how he feels. Yes, he wanted to believe in Jesus because he knew that Jesus must have been sent to, from God or else he would not have been able to do all of the many wonderful miracles he did. So what did Jesus say to this um, Nostradamus? Oh, Nicodemus. Right, right. The Bible says, in reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. <laughs> well, that's silly. I mean, what was he supposed to do? I mean, a grown-up can't become a baby again. Was he going to wear a diaper and drink his baba? 
No. Do you know that Nicodemus asked that very same question? He did? Yes. And, and how did Jesus answer? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the Spirit. Oh. Well, I know I want to go to heaven, and, and I want the children to go too, but I don't have any spirit. Mm. But I do have water! Oh, oh, no, no, Spyagos! No, 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 no. I, I don't think that that is not, that is not what Jesus meant. Oh, very sorry. But it's all right. So, but then, so praise the Lord. Yes. What does this born of water and spirit mean then? Well, you have a seat and I shall try to explain it to you. You see, when you were a little baby, you were born of the flesh. We all, each and every one of us, came from our mother's belly. <laughs> yes, and my mama was so happy to have a little baby boy, Gus. I'm sure she was. But, you see, Gus, you had no choice whether you were to be born or not. Well, of course not. What was I supposed to do? Hide in my mama's belly? Exactly. But you see, now that you are older, you can make your own choices. Ah, yes. And I choose to follow Jesus. Exactly. And when you chose to follow Jesus, it was like your life had started all over again. You know what? That's true. Ever since I decided to follow after Jesus, everything seems uh, brand new. It's like everything is just new to me. Exactly, that's right. And that is because you th see things differently with the Holy Spirit inside of you. Oh, I see. So it was like I'm a brand new spiritual baby. I've been born again in things that are pertaining to God. Yes, and that is why you have so many questions. Because you have been born again and babies need to learn everything. Ha! I'm a spiritual baby. Perhaps I should get some uh, spiritual diapers. Oh, I don't think you'd look good in a diaper. <laughs> what? But I have nice legs. Want to see? No, why don't we just say our kingdom code together? Very good. Serving the king is the noblest thing. Farewell, children. Hasta la vista, baby.